Well, I was happily exploring my city, doing the usual checkups around. Downtown's looking good, semi Vostok itself looking good, all the little surrounding towns looking good. But then, you know what, I was just casually going up, up this little main road here, and I was like, oh yeah, looks alright so far. But then, we get up here, and then we get to the industrial estate, and we get to... Gerlensky, that's literally the name by the way, you guys named that, <laughs> you guys named that town Gerlensky. Um, but yeah, we come up around here and then things start to go downhill. It's kind of like the government's just kind of forgot about all of these rural areas. But yeah, we come around here, we get to the farm district, we have a lot of farm trucks. We also have the whole big town up here, big industrial estate on the left. And then we have this roundabout here. And you know what, for some people this is probably fine, but for me, no, we are not having that. We are going to completely redo this whole main road. So this roundabout, we're actually going to leave the roundabout, but we're going to completely build over the top of it and put in maybe like eight lanes all the way. It's going to be really huge. It's going to be intense. It's going to look good. And I just can't wait. So this is the big problem area right here. Um, yeah, keep in keep in mind we have that little roundabout there at the bottom of the screen as well, just for in the future because I do not mention it, I don't think. But yeah, so going to completely redo this whole road. And technically it's not a highway because we won't be using highway assets, but I'm just going to call it a highway just for the sake of this video. So it's going to go all the way along here. So... Let's get into it. There's going to be several different little um, interchanges from this highway to the local roads that we're going to have to do. Uh, this is going to be one of them and I think each one is going to be a little bit different. Uh, the road that I'm using is this one right here. I did just show it so you might have to go back and just have a look what it was called. But for some reason it turns this dark grey kind of black. Um, but the reason why I wanted to use this one is because when you put it down, it doesn't create an intersection when you connect another road to it. So the median continues straight through. And that's exactly what I wanted because if we just used an ordinary road here, when we, whenever we connect like a slip lane on and off, it would create a big inter, inter, intersection, can't talk. And then it would also put in the pedestrian crossings, which we just don't want. I don't want that. So that's why I'm using this. So unfortunately, yes, there is some weird color Acceleration, is that a word? But um, yeah, it, it's not a it's not a big deal. It, it's really not a big deal. So unfortunately, we had to buy a little bit of land from the golf course right there to fit in our new road. Um, but this this um, design that I'm going to be doing here is the highway continues on flat as a, a little bit of an elevated area right there. Um, once that's all flattened out, we actually put this other smaller main road that goes directly from, I can't remember what, what the name of the town is, but it goes from the town just across the river and it's going to go underneath the little highway right here and then connect right on. And this is actually a design that is quite common as well. And I know that some people are going to say, well, hey, hang on a second. That's not very good, but, but it is a it is a real design. Otherwise, I would not use something that isn't realistic. So the the real trick that I well the real challenge was to make sure that the roads were low enough to go underneath the highway, but high enough so the river water doesn't rush in there as well. So I had to keep that in mind. So what we're going to do here is this one just continues straight along here. And since we have four lanes on either side, um, we're actually going to sacrifice one lane on this side, which is going to be used as the turning lane in and then the turning lane back out. So all of the existing traffic highway that is going straight through here, they won't be able to actually go through on the turning lane lane, if that makes sense. You guys will see that in a second. But um, on this side, it's just going to be the ordinary slip lane coming right off. But one thing I do want to mention, and it's something that I was having trouble with throughout this episode. Um, so trucks specifically, I don't know why, but they were coming off of the little slip lane here. And since I create the slip lane going straight up here, what they were doing is they were coming straight off the slip lane and then going back up onto the highway directly. So when you are doing this, make sure that the slip lanes, first of all, are a slower speed than the highway itself, because obviously they're going to prefer a faster speed 
um, but also make sure for example here when they when they turn off the highway they come to the intersection right there where the two hovering cars are the yellow one make sure that they can they can only turn left and I'm having a bit of trouble there changing <laughs> something right there but yeah make sure that they can only turn left and don't allow them to go straight ahead because then sometimes they will just go straight off the slip lane straight through the the intersection and then directly back onto the highway for no real reason so that's just something to look out for and that can actually be a really huge issue it was something that I saw on the city fix series as well so definitely keep that in mind but you will see me do some of the lane connections throughout this video um, definitely if you are going to do this make sure you do the lane connections because without lane connections where would we be without that without that mod and if no one made that mod could you guys imagine the traffic oh oh my god I I do not want to imagine what the traffic would be like uh, but yeah you can see right here with the yellow line um, but then also I didn't like that it was four lanes so I downgrade that into two lanes either side and then we'll just do a little bit of lane connection right here so you can see the purple goes in and then the pinkish color comes back out so basically that lane is only for turning in and out and no other traffic going straight through will be able to use it same for this one here well I kind of <laughs> kind of cut that out there but there we go so that's how it looks um, I actually had to fiddle around with it for a little while but um, I got it working really really well this little road right here is also quite important but the whole interchange that we're going to do here is not going to be as huge as the previous one so this one goes directly into a little um, what do you call it a village or just a really small town maybe a farming town but yeah, um, definitely we do need that because it goes directly into a town, um, which is actually a pretty, a pretty large town. It's probably not a farming town. But the, the, the type that we're going to do here, it's just going to go straight underneath and some very, very simple connections, slip lanes like that. Um, well, you guys will see in a second. But since we don't have much traffic through here, I didn't need to do anything too substantial um, and the slip lane design which you guys will see in a second so since we're just using one road going straight through um, I was hang on it's probably better just to tell you guys when we get there but again I had to make sure that the bridge was high enough so it doesn't flood but here we go so when the slip lane comes off right it comes down come on Sam well I'm doing it backwards but it comes down here to that point where I'm drawing from and they actually have they have to um, cross lanes which isn't a good design for heavy traffic so since we don't have much traffic through here we can get away with them crossing lanes but if it was heavy traffic I would either do direct lanes going you know like slip lanes going directly over the highway or something like that so they don't have to crisscross or I would do time traffic lights or a roundabout which is a roundabout probably the easiest one but since we don't have much traffic through here we really didn't need to do anything too substantial um, you're probably screaming oh my god that lane is the wrong way but I do change that don't worry and one thing I don't know if I show you guys I don't know but I actually uh, adjust the speed limits as well so I put it up to about 130 kilometers an hour which I know it's kind of fast especially for Australian standards um, I know in other countries 130 is probably an alright speed I'm sure there'll be a huge discussion now that I've mentioned it down below and that's kilometers per hour if I didn't say as well but the reason why I wanted to put it at the fastest speed is just because the AI sometimes there's certain vehicles that have I don't I don't know how it works um, I just want it all to work really smooth efficiently and faster I don't want there to be any cluster I just want it to be really fast easy and just Ah, just really smooth, but you know what this whole road right here. It really reminds me of the airport road so um, The road that well, it's kind of like a mini highway that connects up to the airport to the highway the main highway So it goes basically along the the water creek river Whatever you want to call it, it goes along here and then the mountains are on the other side and it's got a lot of traffic It just yeah, it's it's very very similar, but actually very far apart Oh, it turns out I do show you guys the speed limits through here Okay, so this one over here, this is the little farming town I was actually thinking of. But for this one, we're not going to do a huge big interchange like the other two. So this one is going to only be accessible from one side of the highway. So when we come back to it, here we go. So what we're going to do, first of all, is, well, we need to update this 
this bad boy get him go <laughs> get him going up there and also the um, the farm area right there is connected to the highway but we're going to disconnect it and this is going to be the new main entrance point so I'm using this little road here which has one lane on the left and two on the right so when they come off the highway they can either go straight ahead or they have a specific lane to turn into the farming area because that little farming area it actually creates a lot of traffic um, and it's one of the one of the big issues that was caused causing a major traffic issue on here because a lot of the farming vehicles were cutting in across the highway and it just wasn't working so we're actually just simplifying this um, like I said it's only going to work from one side so it's only from the I guess right side they can only they can only go off the highway and go back on but they can't go on the other side but if they do want to come back over to this side they can either go to the previous interchange or they can go to the next one which we will completely redo and then they have other access points because remember I said there's that other roundabout over there so they can actually use that roundabout which takes them directly into that little farming area as well <sighs> okay so we're, get we're getting there I feel like there's a lot to say ah, I really like this farming area though I, I love all the little just the little farms and you know oh just looks good so yeah like I said I disconnect that because it was causing a lot of issues and now they're completely moved away so they can use the little entrance and exit point that we used or they can use the next big interchange that we will make in a second uh, I really do miss the SimCity 4 farms though how you could draw them out in huge crazy shapes oh, I really miss that now I feel like playing SimCity 4 <laughs> but I don't have it but yeah I do I do miss that because all we have here in this game is like the square big farms which to me it isn't very fun no offense anyway let's get back into this so from this point on it's going to be elevated so it's going to go completely over the top so the issue through here was um, since this is actually an outside road so it connects up to the edge of the map but I don't have um, I haven't purchased that area of land so I don't really I'm not really going to update that whole road but yeah this this road is connected to an outside link of the map so there is naturally going to be traffic coming through here from the outside of the map to I don't know where, where they're going to the downtown or the highway to the main highway I don't know but there is always going to be a lot of that traffic just trying to pass through and so the issue we were having was all of that traffic that was just trying to pass through was getting mixed up with all of this existing truck and farm vehicles and just ordinary traffic so we need to completely make a road that goes well basically over the top of it and bypasses a lot of this areas but when we get to this point on the other side it, it kind of downgrades it becomes more rural um, not much traffic and we actually just do some roundabouts on the highway but you guys will see that in a second but yeah so from this point here I actually downgrade this road from a four lane down to three lanes um, but I don't show you guys now but when I reconnect the lanes back up, I actually upgrade it to a four lane again for a little while and then it goes back down to a three lane and then we get down to the roundabout which will be around the corner right here. Um, yeah, just and I was just checking there to make sure that the trucks do fit. Luckily, yes, they do fit. So this road that I'm doing right here, um, so where it connects up right there, I actually, like I said just before, I upgrade that to the four lanes because I wanted three existing lanes and then a fourth lane where they will merge in and then same on the other side. So the three lanes will go straight ahead and then the fourth lane will merge off. And then once they go through this whole interchange, it goes back to four lanes again. So it's four lanes on either side and then three lanes on either side in the middle. Hopefully that makes sense, but I will show you guys a better look at the end. Now we're getting towards the whole end of our little highway upgrade. So this point right here, um, I had to move that big building because it was kind of overlapping, which that's not good. We don't like that. And that roundabout there, that was really just too small because we have a fair amount of traffic. Well, not, not really too much traffic, but um, they come they come down from that little road there where the big building is connected to and this little roundabout It's okay, but it just needed to be a little bit bigger because like I always say bigger the roundabout the more traffic it can handle Yes, that is correct. Uh, and then we just bring down this other road over here When I do it there we go And then we will make a roundabout so quite a big roundabout and then we'll upgrade that to the two lane and three lane 
uh, highway roads so they can just really zoom through not have to worry about it so this is where it kind of becomes more rural this mini highway I guess it downgrades from a highway down to a more rural main road if that makes sense because after this point there's really no other traffic except for traffic that's going to the basically off the cliff the side of the map um, but yeah that's basically it and then we're upgrading that as well oops <laughs> Well, I did not mean to do that, but yeah, we're upgrading those as well just to give them a the, the barrier just because it's quite a steep area as well. And of course, speed limits, put them up to 130. You know what, even though if you make it unlimited, they don't really go faster than 130, which is kind of lame. I, I kind of want to do like an autobahn, I don't know, one lane can be a 220 kilometers an hour or something. I don't know. Um, I downgrade this road, yes, there we go. So you can see on the roundabouts, two lanes in certain parts, three lanes on other parts, um, just to make it really, really easy. And that is basically it, you guys. So just putting in a few more trees, and then we'll go check out how it all looks and make sure it's all flowing nicely. Okay, you guys, so something I didn't show you was I actually added in a, just a little roundabout here, which goes directly into the town. Um, but there isn't too much traffic there, so it's not an issue. Here's our other big roundabout, flowing really, really well. Speed limits are all right, there's not too much crisscrossing. Um, this part, I actually really like how the train line goes over the top, it makes it look really complex as well. So it looks really good, flowing really well, there's no overlapping here. Um, that little blue truck was waiting. This one here is working really, really great. It's been really handy for um, the little farming area as well. So and, and that little town, it's been really, really great for them. And actually having no connection on the other side of the highway here hasn't really been an issue for them because they can just come down to this one as well. And even this one, um, yeah, it's not too busy, working really, really great. Traffic isn't too bad, it does fluctuate of course with the, the real-time mod. But yeah, that is basically it you guys. Thank you for watching and um, I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. And I'm sure my sims are happy as well. So catch you guys later.